Welcome to sports, everybody. After going winless on a three-game road trip, Buddy Heal and the Sacramento Kings returning home last night, looking to end that losing streak against the Houston Rockets. The Kings getting off to a slow start, going down 16 after the first quarter. They got that deficit down to eight at the half, but the Rockets outscored the Kings by 10 in the third quarter, and the fourth quarter rally would be too well too late. Kings now on a four-game slide, going down 113-104. Buddy struggling once again, just three of 12 from the field, one for eight from behind a three-point arc, finishing up with 10 points. It's a job, man, just trying to figure out collectively. You know, uh, we had defense coverage, and uh, they you know, just making all three-point shots, and after we changed change it, and we, we got better. We had a slow third-quarter start, and I uh, just changed the whole structure of the game, and after that, uh, that was it, man. Uh, we tried to fight back, and it wasn't enough. We had to do a better job making shots. Uh, I mean, I didn't play the full quarter, so uh, so I, I couldn't help, but it is what it is, man. I'm not getting the easy ones I used to get. You know, I know. remember uh, when I used to get catch and shoot ones. Now I have to, now I'm creating for others and uh, making the right play, because, of course, they know what I'm capable of doing, so I have to, like, find an open man, so they double me, and they put more attention to me, so I'm the final open guy. So when I get the ball, it's always a shot clock or just making a tough pull of jump, jump shot. So, you know, just, I'm more being more of a playmaker and trying to be a scorer and just making the right play now instead of just trying to shoot. I'm not getting, I'm not, I'm not getting catch and shoot ones. I can't remember the last time I got a good catch and shoot one where I can like take my time and shoot one. So I just couldn't figure it out and uh, adjust to it. Still on the pro hardwood, Jerome Kino Burrows and I'm Marine on the floor last night as well. In France, Kino was 8 of 13 from the field, finishing up with 18 points, but it came in a 95-88 loss to his former team, Province Basket. The University of the Bahamas Mingos men's basketball team in Florida over the weekend for a two-game series. Up first was Johnson University, and the Mingos would fall 89-76. Kansas Sylvester leading the way with 25 points. Romero Cornish had 15, Robert Joseph following with 12. After the loss to Johnson, the Mingos looking for a win to end their two-game tour against Trinity Baptist, the Eagles. Mingos trailing 42-39 at intermission, but they got their act together in the second half, winning in come-from-behind fashion 73-64. Sylvester and Joseph tying for a game-high 17 points. Cornish right behind with 16. It feels great to be part of this team right now that we can be able to get the W on our last game because last uh, game last night we fall shot at the end which we wasn't trying to do tonight. We fell behind earlier with but far problems had our but our big players had Kimsey Sylvester and and J Robert Joseph and far problems but our bench and the whole the whole team just step up good big time and we managed to pull up the win. We just had to put it together our coach got some word of encouragement. Um, told us we had to rebound the ball, stop our mind, play some good defense. And take care of the ball, no turnovers. They should be on the win. The C.I. Gibson Rattlers and Doris Johnson Mystic Marlins returning home from the Tarkanian Classic in Las Vegas. Up next on the high school basketball calendar now will be Coach Kevin K.J. Johnson's annual holiday classic, December 20th, actually the 27th through the 30th at the C.I. Gibson Gym. Welcome to holiday classic going on in the 19th year now. And, um, you know, the opportunities for high school. Um, boys and girls this year um, to play. We have 16 teams confirmed. And we have 10 girls team confirmed. Um, so far, it's looking to be a, a great tournament again. You know, it's right after Christmas and before New Year's that lull, right after John Canoe and before the, uh, the New Year's John Canoe. So that, them four days in between, we're gonna play basketball. A lot of the kids will stay sharp and prepare themselves for the second half of the season. The 2019 Atlantis Crown Gymnastics Invitational closing out over the weekend in the Imperial Ballroom. The 242 well represented. Gymnastics community within the Bahamas has definitely grown. Um, we've been able to see the numbers grow um, as far as athletes competing in the event. We've seen the level grow. Um, it's really exciting. We work out every day except we give them a break on Wednesday and Sundays typically. Uh, they put in about four hours every three to four hours every day and um, they are very dedicated to the sport. You just have to balance the sport and academics. And it's kind of a jealous sport, so you have to put in the time to get the results. We have some budding Olympians. 
This is the biggest gymnastics competition in the Caribbean, and it's not hard to understand why the Atlantis Resort is the perfect venue. Obviously, Atlantis is awesome to work with, the ministry, but we're welcomed here, and this is like a second home for us, so I think that sets the tone. It, when people come in, they feel welcomed. Um, they're, it's obviously the sun first people that are up north in Michigan and stuff, so we're away from the snow, but it's the camaraderie, it's the friendships.